What's up, people? Today I want to come to you, and we're going to go over a new case. Well, not a new case, but the next case that we're going to go over is Mills v. District of Columbia, 571F3D1304-2009. And basically it's a roadblock case, but it simply states police checkpoints violate the Fourth Amendment. The reason being is because roadside checkpoints constitute seizures under the Fourth Amendment. And we've gone over this several times before. One of the cases that we use probably more often than not is Delaware v. Prowse. And that case itself, it held that police may not stop motorists without any probable cause to suspect a crime to check their driver's license and auto registration because we understand because of Shear v. Cullen, a crime is damage to person or property. Now, if there is no damage to person or property, there's no reason to restrict your locomotion because anytime there's a restriction of locomotion, there has to be probable cause. And only time probable cause can be available is if there is damage to person or property via Shear v. Cullen. And we also went over the United States v. Brignani Ponce, where officers can't just randomly stop an automobile because of the appearance of the passengers or the occupants. We also went over um, City of Indianapolis v. Edmond. General crime control is a violation of a checkpoint because it again it restricts your local motion under the fourth amendment there has to be probable cause now we also went over a case with illinois v lidster it's a 2004 case where the supreme court stated that roadblocks are allowed to investigate a traffic incident again a traffic incident is damage to either person or property so they are allowed to look for witnesses they are allowed to look for damage to, on other properties to find those that are involved so again if there is no crime a police checkpoint is illegal no matter how you put it no matter how they want to say it or how they want to slice it is written not my words not my opinion there are several cases that back this up and Mills v. D.C. is just another example of that because anytime your locomotion is restricted and they don't have probable cause of a crime, it is illegal. And enforcing policy is not what they're there for. They're for the benefit of the general public. So anytime that there is a roadblock or checkpoint, understand there has to be a basis for that checkpoint. So Mills v. D.C., police checkpoints violate the Fourth Amendment because of the seizure clause. So until next time.